Hello everyone, let's look at the new features and changes that Microsoft is rolling out on Windows 11, build 26.220, the 75, 23, the dev, and better channels. According to the company, this is the last preview for insiders in 2025, but the program will resume in January 2026. First, if we go to the taskbar page, we're going to notice that the company added a new Ask Call Palette option and if you turn that on, it will replace the Windows search feature in the taskbar with Copilot, which allows you to use AI for searching files, settings, and app, as well as virtually anything else. You can also access Copilot Vision and Voice and other AI agents installed on your computer. So this option is turned off by default, so you can continue using the legacy Windows search. But if you want to use AI on the taskbar, you just need to turn this on and as you can see the search box is going to change and from here you can perform any search you want and it's super fast and like i said you can search anything files settings apps and virtually anything else now if you want to invoke an agent you just need to know the name of that agent and then just you need to use the add plus the name of the agent and, and then you can continue with your prompt. One thing that I wanted to point out is that on the taskbar page, you will notice that the company also added the resume feature, which previously was in the apps section. Windows 11 is also bringing AI agents directly to the taskbar, making it one of the biggest steps yet in the company's push to make the system an agentic OS. The new capability allows AI agents to appear as taskbar icons, providing, providing glanceable updates and run tasks in a secure workspace in the background. In this first preview, Microsoft is introducing Researcher in Microsoft 365 Copilot. This agent can perform research and build detailed reports with the ability to track the progress without breaking your flow by hovering over the Copilot or Research button in the taskbar, as you can see right here. Once the process is complete, the agent will send a notification and set the taskbar with a completed state. The company notes that the experience will be rolling out in the coming weeks for commercial customers in the United States with a commercial Microsoft 365 Copilot subscription. Starting with Bill 26220.7523, the company is also introducing Agent Launchers, which is a framework that enables apps to register AI agents and make them available across the operating system and across applications. For example, after an app registers, it will become available to ask Copilot and other install applications. This preview view of Windows 11, the company is also updating the touch keyboard and now it offers a new animation for voice typing as you can see it right here and this will replace the full screen overlaid when using the feature. In this update, you will also find a new Discover Windows widget that provides quick, actionable tips to help you get the most out of your computer. It provides brief guidance on shortcuts, productivity tips, and security reminders, updating automatically throughout the day to reflect common usage scenarios, as you can see right here. So you can always remove this, or you can add it again. You can actually add or remove this widget in the widget's dashboard, or in the lock screen. And finally, let's talk about the changes that Microsoft is rolling out for File Explorer in the last preview build of 2025. So if you have a Microsoft account, you will notice that File Explorer now displayed people icons on the activity column for home, recommended, favorites, and recent. If you hover over an icon, it will open the Windows People card, providing context of recent interaction and quick actions, such as start in a chat or call via your preferred apps. Now, one change that I do have for File Explorer in my installation is in the context menu, and that is this new other actions submenu that groups a specific action in order to declutter the context menu in this experience. And that's it. As per usual, the company is also pushing other fixes and changes and known issues that you need to know before installing this preview build on your computer. You can always check the link in the description to learn more details about this particular build. And that's it. Those are the biggest changes that we're going to see on Windows 11 build 26.220, the 75.23, and the dev and beta channels. Remember that this is the last preview build that Microsoft is releasing for insiders in 2025. The company plans to resume the program in January 2026. Let me know in the comments what you think about these changes. Like the video, share it, subscribe to the channel if you haven't done that yet, and I just hope this video was informative for you, and I would like to thank you for viewing.